In case you don't want to work on this game by yourself and you want to form a team to work on this game, you can go up here and click on collaborate. On this next window, you can add a list of people and give them authority to work on this game. For example, I'm going to add somebody, test skill, and I'll pick this user right here, test skill 67. And you can give this user authority either to edit, which means the user is going to be able to change your game and play your game, or to give the user only play authority, which means the player can only play test your game, but the player cannot change, cannot make changes to your game. I'm going to give test skill edit authority means he's going to be able to change my game and play my game. If you like to add more people, you can add more people. Otherwise, if you're done, just click save. Assuming I'm test skill 67. So to access the games that are being shared with me, I would open up Roblox Studio and I'm going to go to the share with me tab. And here I would see all the games that are being shared with me. I can double click on any game to edit and change the game. Now, if you want to remove a user from that list, you're going to click on collaborate again. And here to remove a user, just click on the X to remove the user and click save. If you want to turn off team create completely, what you want to do is you want to go to the view menu tab and select team create. Here you can go to click on the three dots at the bottom and say disable team create. Click yes. And now team create has been disabled for this game. You can close this window.